What's up guys, Young Flats here. Uh, we got a little bit of a hardware benchmarking video for you guys today. Uh, recently Nvidia came out with their GTX 1050. Um, it's more designed for lower end systems, systems that have lower power supplies, your typical off the shelf bought system. Um, lucky for myself, my roommate actually has one of these systems. She has a Lenovo H50 desktop. Um, looking at it, it has an i3 4170 processor, 4 gigs of RAM. It came with Windows 10 64 bit, has a 500 gig hard drive, DVD drive, wireless, Bluetooth, yada, yada, yada. Um, your standard Best Buy off the shelf Walmart fair. Um, typical things you'll find either in a family household or college. Um, that your parents may have bought you. Problem with these things are they don't really have graphics built in. This one's actually been pretty good. It's been running League for the most part. That's really all she plays, her boyfriend plays. Um, but with this new card, I figured it may be a good opportunity to test this out, get them playing some Overwatch, uh, maybe some new, new Battlefield, um, Street Fighter. We're gonna test those things out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of gameplay with the current system with these titles. Um, we're gonna leave League out. I know it works. League runs on everything. Um, if you guys are interested in that, we can go into a little more detail there, but really League, a potato can run it at this point. I think we'll be okay there. Um, so we'll do Overwatch for sure, Street Fighter V on both uh, the built-in graphics on the i3 as well as the GTX 1050. Um, we'll see how that goes. We'll also run Unigen Heaven, maybe some Cinebench, see how that goes to compare the two. Um, and then I'll let you guys know how everything goes. Uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. First thing I did, I went into Overwatch. Uh, this is going to be on the integrated graphics uh, built into the i3. Went into the settings. Uh, wanted to make sure that everything was running at 1920 by 1080 at medium settings, uh, scaling at 100%. Um, this is going to kind of be the baseline across the board for all of the tests we're running today. Um, you know, modern modern consoles are playing everything at around 720 or 1080. I really think the 1080 experience on the PC is probably one of the better experiences you can get until you get up into the, the 1440 and the 4K. Um, as you can see from the menu, I had, had issues just running around in the menu. Everything was going pretty slow. But I jump, managed to jump into the practice range. Um, picked up Soldier 76 and ran around for a little bit. Um, you can see even from the character selection screen, it was going pretty slow. Um, really struggling at this point. Um, I'm gonna take a break real quick here, turn on the FPS settings. And we're back in it. You can see the game's not running super smooth. Um, as I'm moving around, it's it's okay. I guess if you really had to, uh, you, you could probably get away with playing this. But I was averaging somewhere in the, the 10 to 13 FPS range. Um, not really visible here, but the input lag was pretty high. I was getting some screen tearing. Uh, overall, just a really, really poor playing experience. Um, I believe the system probably could play it if we drop the settings pretty much as far down as we could go. Um, I didn't really test that that wasn't what this was about. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm getting about 10 frames right here. I uh, jumped down into more of some firefighting and it really doesn't do much better. Uh, I think you'd have a very difficult time playing this game on this system as is. But that's where this uh, new graphics card comes into play. So we'll switch over to Unigen on the internal card and see how that goes and then after that we'll see what the new graphics card shows us. Alright guys, we managed to load into Unigen Heaven. Uh, everything's set at 1920 by 1080 with high settings here. Um, you can see even just opening it first thing, the, the FPS was really really abysmal. Um, this video is actually running at about 300% speed. Uh, it's a pretty long benchmark. I didn't want to make you guys sit through that. Uh, it's a little difficult to see in the bottom right, but I know we were hovering in the, uh, the 3 to 7 FPS range for the majority of this. Uh, I really, really did not handle this at all. Um, so I'll kind of let this finish playing with some music background, and then we'll jump back into it afterwards. Thanks, guys. Down from the heights that we 
guys. We're coming up to the ending now. As you can see, the, the graphics really didn't handle it. We got a 3.7 FPS score. Um, pretty bad. So we'll jump into switching the card out now, and then we'll switch to more benchmarks. Alright guys, here's the card. Uh, I went ahead with the Gigabyte GTX 1050. Um, at the time of this recording, the quantities were rather low for the standard cards I would normally buy. So I went ahead and got this one. Uh, they should all pretty much be the same. So first thing you want to do is figure out how to open your side panel. Um, this particular model had two screws on the back. They did require a screwdriver. Um, so after that, nothing too difficult. Should be a pretty simple process. Just uh, unscrew whichever screws you can find on the back of your panel. And then most of the time the side case will just pop right off without really any challenges. Um, this is the inside of the computer. Um, you can see we've got the CPU fan in the middle. We've got our PCI slot to the left of that. Um, we've got our RAM slots below that. You can see we added some additional RAM, uh, just some stuff I had lying around the house that I gave my roommate. And then you've got your hard drive towards the front. Um, with this particular card, you're not going to need any additional power. Um, but you will want to undo the PCIe bracket on the back if there is one. Most of these have some sort of uh, easy bracket on the back side that you're going to want to take apart and clear out some space for it. This was a dual slot design, um, mainly because the cooler stuck out a little bit further. Um, it was an ACX style cooler, not a blower. <clears throat> So you want to take that out of the anti-static bag. And we can see it's just a, about a one and a half slot um, cooler design. You've got your DVI port, your HDMI, and your display port all covered. And then you've got your PCIe cover on the bottom, standard fan. Um, really nothing special about it, but it is a pretty interesting card. Um, pretty nice little thing for the, the size and power it's drawing. So you want to make sure we don't have any obstructions on this one in particular. We did have an extra uh, PCIe cover that we had to take out. This one just needed a screwdriver to kind of shove in the slot and wiggle around a little bit and it popped right out after that. Nothing too difficult. Um, I don't suspect anybody's going to really have much difficulty doing this. And you can see it's just a standard piece of metal covering the slot, screwdriver holes, um, nothing more to it than that. On this particular model, you want to take off the PCIe cover off of the bottom and then just kind of slide it in. There were some issues. This, this unit actually had a Wi-Fi module built into it. Um, the, this house in particular doesn't really need Wi-Fi. We've got hardwired Ethernet everywhere. So I went ahead, and you'll see in a second, disconnected the antenna from it to give me some clearance. but. If you don't have that option, you can just kind of tape it along the side, zip, zip tie it somewhere, just get it out of the way, make sure it doesn't run into the fan. That was my biggest concern is leaving them in there, I'd run into some fan issues. Um, otherwise, not a huge deal. Uh, we can see I was having a little bit of trouble getting the antenna out. So if you, if you decide to take them out, it should be much more than just pulling straight up on the antenna connector and they should come right out. And then your graphics card is going to slot right in to your first PCIe slot. Um, and you should hear it click once it goes in. And since this one doesn't have an external PCIe, we can just secure it from here and uh, move on to our testing. All right, guys, now that our graphics card is installed, we jump right into Overwatch. Uh, settings did not change from the first run to this run. They're still medium settings, 100% render. You can see already, game's looking much better. It's running a lot smoother. Um, we were averaging somewhere in the 130 to 140 range on FPS uh, with dips into the maybe 115, 120s. Overall, just a really great experience with this card. Uh, this game is quite beautiful. I do, I do suspect you could actually crank up the graphics 
to the very least high, potentially even very high. Um, if anybody's interested in something along that line, I could definitely go back and get you guys another video for that and do some more testing. Uh, I just kind of ran around some more trying to figure out what the game would do and wouldn't do, but I really didn't experience any issues. Um, I may actually jump into a, an online game at some point just to see what it does, but I don't suspect any problems. Overall, really a great experience. Uh, couldn't be more happy with a slow $100 car. Um, up next, we're actually going to run through uh, Unigen one more time, see what we can get performance-wise versus the internal setup. Again with Unigen, we ran the same settings as before, 1920 by 1080 high settings, um, ran through the standard benchmark. Uh, through the whole benchmark, we were getting, I believe, somewhere in the hundreds. Uh, sorry, not hundreds, in the 30s, low 30s. Uh, high 20s, which is uh, about 10 times what we were getting before on the internal. Again, this is at about 300% uh, speed, so we'll let this run a little bit and then we'll jump back in at the end. Right, guys as you can see uh, the graphics card definitely helped we went up to an average of 40.6 FPS in the benchmark did a really good job uh, I would definitely recommend spending uh, if you're in this price market or if you have a computer like this uh, definitely check it out guys uh,